Howdy everyone and welcome to the third week of Quant Plus where we're going to talk about regressions, net uh, present value, and pivot tables. Regression helps plot data into a linear uh, relationship between the independent and dependent variable and it helps visually show the relationship of that relationship and the dis dispersion of results. And it could be used in many research topics and studies like the relationship between fast food and obesity and the crop growth and weather conditions. And it is also very important to note that uh, when doing the linear regression model, you need to have the data, data analysis tool pack. Now, let's dive into our example. Okay, so for this example, I extracted a, a set of data that I got from one of my class assignments, and it has the wheat planted acres and the wheat harvested acres. And I want to see the relationship between the number of wheat planted and the number of wheat harvested. In order to do that, I need to click on the data uh, tab and select data analysis. But if you don't have this in your Excel, you can just go to customize the ribbon, go to add-ins, select go, and click in this box where it says data, now, data tool pack. Click on OK. So if we click on data analysis, you can scroll down to regression, click on OK. For the input Y range, I'm going to highlight the wheat harvest acres. And then for the input X range, I'm going to highlight the wheat planted acres. Okay. And I like to make sure that I click on the label box so I don't get confused. And I also like to click on the input range so I can see my data next to my summary. And I will have, oops, there we go. I'm gonna have that right here. Click on OK and your summary output appears. As you can see, the R squared here is is a 0.93, which is pretty good since it's very close to one, meaning that the data falls into a linear relationship. And if we look at the F statistic, we can see that the value is low, meaning that it is highly likely that at least one coefficient is not zero, it, so the model is significant. And looking into the p-value, the one specifically for wheat planted uh, acres, we can see that the value is very small. It's, it's lower than 0 0.05. So we can, um, we can, we know that the wheat planted uh, acre coefficient is not likely to be zero. And it is also significant to the model. Uh, so that the amount of wheat planted play, plays a very significant role in the amount of wheat harvested. And now let's take a look at the intercept here. Um, let's, what happens if we plant no wheat? Uh, we end up getting a negative three of wheat, which makes no sense. It is not significant. And it, it helps us know that the value is most likely to be zero, as you can tell right here, since it's negative three. And it is also demonstrated here by the very large p-value. So in conclusion, the best model to establish uh, how much wheat we can harvest is the model y equals 0.897x, where x is the amount planted, and as you can see, it's a fairly accurate estimate to figure out how much uh, wheat to plant. And this is how you run a regression in Excel. It is very easy and very quick to do. And in the next video, we're going to talk about net present value.